What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to an unboxing of the brand new Fossil Q Explorers 4. So this is the gen fourth generation in the Fossil Q lineup. Uh, so this has been updated ever so slightly to include some of the important stuff that everyone likes to have on a smartwatch. So now you got heart rate monitor there, you got untethered GPS, NFC, and um, many things more. Anyway, let's have a look at what's inside of the box. Inside of the box, you get your charging cable, which is a USB uh, charging dock that you get with it. It doesn't come with a three pin or two pin plug, wherever country you're from. It doesn't come with that pin, so you'd have to get an adapter to plug it into. You get the watch itself, you get some user manual, and sort of like this art rate tracking card here. I'm not sure what that is just about yet. To use this, this is a Wear OS uh, smartwatch, so you'd have to download Wear OS by Google. You have to download that on your, on your phone. It's compatible with iOS and Android, so you just have to download those and follow the setup process. Setup is very, very easy, very straightforward. It took me pretty much three minutes to get everything set up. Uh, I missed out one of my email accounts being synced because I can't remember my password, but apart from that, very much straightforward. Easy to operate as well if you've used Wear OS uh, operating system before on a smartwatch. It's just as easy as swiping up and down, swiping left and right uh, to get rid of notifications and things like that. Tap in the main button on the right, you get to your applications uh, so you can look at your Google Maps, emails, etc. Uh, you get a nice notification setup, which I really like, uh, and it's very responsive as well so far. My notifications started coming through straight, straight away. It's compatible with Google Fit. Again, if you used that before, you know what that's all about. Untethered GPS is great for tracking your walks, your runs, without having to carry your smartphone with you as well. Uh, this will run for 24 hours plus of battery life, but I will test that during my review. There's two different versions, so the Q Venture is 18 mil, the Explorers is 22 mil. This connects via Bluetooth, uh, it's compatible, like I said, with iOS 9.3 plus, Android 4.4 plus. Uh, sensors there, that have, apart from the ones I mentioned already, you get accelerometer, altimeter, gyroscope, ambient light, and microphone as well, so you can use to make and receive phone calls. Uh, it's powered by Wear OS, as mentioned before, and Qualcomm 2100 processor. It's pre it's very straightforward, very uh, slick. I like the design of it. It's light on the wrist as well, feels comfortable. It's something that I could wear for a prolonged period of time. And swiping it in and out and using it, it's very responsive as well, in including when you raise your wrist up. The gyroscope just works really well. Anyway, guys, do let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a comment. Uh, if there's anything you want to know, let me know as well. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe and hit that uh, bell button as well so you'll be one of the first people to know when we upload a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.